Hey everybody. I told you I'd be right back. Hey, you guys realize something? That last video I made? That was number 800. Can you guys believe I got 800 videos on here now? <laughs> and a lot of you guys seen every one of them. <laughs> I know Butch has, Butch ain't missed one. Not one. And, uh, there's probably a couple others. <laughs> oh, I think it's great. I think it's great, man. I know you guys out there love your Bob TV. Okay. Now, we got some other marks. Let me get my uh, little pointer. So I can show you this stuff. So we got some other stuff on here. We got a light. And then, uh, I guess that's probably a nav light. And it's got another little bump there I want to put in it. And uh, some more stuff right here. That is, uh, this first layer is going to come down here. Like so. And it's going to, I'm going to put another layer of glass down. So the first layer goes all the way over. The, it's got kind of around it. So I think I'm going to use this thinner stuff there. Okay for that first layer then the second layer looks a little fatter I think I'll use that fat or the you know the three layer stuff that's already primed there and then this is another thin one it just goes around it see right there and I'll put another layer of this thin, thin stuff on there and it's got a big old counterbalance on the rudder part itself. This thing sure had some strange looking control surfaces. And it's gotta have that, see that little square right there? When these things are at that severe of an angle, if you don't put that little notch down here, that's why real, real planes do it. It will bind up a lot sooner. You know? So uh, we gotta put them in our models too. flap right here. See how I squared that off? If you don't, if you just run that straight, it binds up. But this way, it'll rotate. Well, that's why we do that. This one, things are at a real severe sweep. And that's why they do that. So we're going to do it too. Oh, okay. Now, I need to make that nav light. So last night, while I was waiting for that resin to dry, I whittled me one up, okay? <laughs> Almost looks like a clothespin, don't it? But I even whittled that part in it, then just stuck that on the saw, you know, and cut it out. And it has, again, it has these little flanges, you see? And that flange right there goes all the way around it. Man, uh, I couldn't even test it out on this because it had that wet resin on it. So I was test fitting it on this one. This will be the first test. Uh oh, does it fit? See, it didn't even have to be at an angle. Because this sits at an angle, but the one, that nav light needs to sit straight. So, let's see here. Oh, yeah. Man, that's just perfect. Oh, yeah, that will look good. Sweet. Alright. Now. What else do I got? Oh, these ridges. I need to sand these ridges off. I'm going to show you how I did that right quick. Take the ODA, this is pretty fine paper and it's wore out. It's probably like one used 120. So it ain't gonna dig into nothing, you know.
set this down first and stick it on. If you start it up first, that thing gets suspended too fast. 